Hi, I'm Laura Stewart, board member of Indian River Impact 100. I'm here today with Sarah Williams, and we're going to be talking about how her life was impacted because we gave a grant of $100,000 to United Against Poverty, formerly known as Harvest Food and Outreach. Sarah, thank you so much for being here and being willing to share your story. Thank you for having me. So how has your life been changed because of this grant that was given? It has changed tremendously. I um, came from a background where I wasn't going anywhere. I was depressed, I was mad, I was angry. I had my son with me, I wasn't going anywhere at all. Uh, me and my family, uh, I was nine months pregnant when I moved up here to Samaritan Center. And um, I had my son who was four at the time, excuse me, he was four, still is four. Um, we've been here for about nine months now. And like I said, when I came up here, I was just lost. Didn't know what to do, didn't know where I was going until Samaritan Center actually showed me the Harvest Center, which is now up. And this place just brought me out of absolutely nowhere. You, you know what I mean? They brought me to somewhere where I knew where I was going to grow. And <clears throat> How did they do that? Excuse me. Um, they with love and patience. Really, they really did. They, they sat there and they talked to us. They, this this program is not like any other program. This program, these people actually care about you. They, you come in and you show that you want to do the work. They're going to be behind you 100 percent. But more importantly, you can get on levels like personal levels with with some people, and they they love you. They care for you. And you have a job now working at Piper. Yes. What are you doing over at Piper? I am. A coordinator okay. for uh, production control. Wow, that sounds like a job that sort of meshes so many different parts of the organization. Yes, um, basically what I do, I have five different departments, okay. and I'm over, I'm over five different departments. Um, it's kind of hard for me to explain since I'm so new, but what I do is I release um, work orders okay. to my men, and if they need help, I'll try to help them the best way I can. And if somebody needs a part for a plane, I go look for it, and there's and, a lot more detail. And you found that job because of being at UP? Oh yes, definitely. So how did, how did that happen, that they found you this job? I mean, it's just they learned about your different skills? Yes, they, um, they, seen, they seen my drive. They seen what I was capable of. They seen where, where I could go. And they know Piper is such a great company to work for and they seen that I would be a good fit for them as well as anybody else would if they, you know, have that drive in them. Yeah. And they yeah. You have a family, you have a, a yes, young child, four years old. Mm -hmm. How has it impacted them with how you've changed? Because I've only known you as this person with this beautiful smile who seems to be very calm and, and happy compared to the person you were describing. So yeah. how has that impacted your family? It's actually been a very, a very big impact. I, I'm gonna cry, <laughs> but I, I actually came from before moving to Samaritan Center. It was like I was spending five dollars a day for me and my son to eat while I was nine months pregnant. To being in a shelter where it actually has food and people who actually care about us, and then I actually have a great job who can back up me and my children because it's just us three nobody no help or anything just it's just us and God of course yeah but it's it's been a big difference amazing difference it's it's time to go up now <laughs> and we are gonna go up yeah the name has so much more power now that it's up because it really sounds like it's lifted you up Yes. Tremendously. It surely has because I'm telling you this program is not like anything else. Everyone's like, oh, we care about you, we care about you. No, they just they just want their like people to look at them like they're doing good. No, this this program right here will help anybody. Just that certain person has to want it. And when they want it, everybody here will have their backs and make them grow. Now, are you still involved with the center and doing different things with them since you've been placed into the job, or does it up? end? Yeah, or does it end once they place you? Oh no, <laughs> they won't let us go. <laughs> <laughs> they will not let us go, and we won't. We would. We wouldn't want to be let go either. Like I will still come up here, obviously, when I have some free time, and um, come up here and um, say hi. And they actually up just had. Um, uh, 
a fundraiser, I, I guess I would like to call it, Burgers and Brews, and I was there uh, volunteering. Okay, so. so it sounds like you're giving back. Oh, yes. Into the organization, and we had um, Lisa Blake on, mm -hmm. and she was talking about how you helped get her here to, oh, yes. for the program. So Yes, I, I tell everybody about this program because I see... I see what I went through in other people, and I'm like, um, hello, like, you need to go to this program. But I hate to say a lot of people think programs are not it, but I try, I, I do my best, and I tell them this program, you need to try it out. Go for it. If it's not you, you know, you can walk away. If not, you're going to go a lot further than what you are right now. That's beautiful. Any last thoughts you'd like to share? No. <laughs> no. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your story and being who you are today because it's a it's beautiful to see and to get to know you. Thank you.